So we're on. My mic's Mine's now. telling me Mine. no. God damn. <laughs> 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 what the Batusa? She's telling us yeah. Mine is telling me no. Baby, uh, I don't want to hurt no. Oh, I'm sorry. Are we on the air? I'm sorry. We're in the air. Yeah, we're trying to get in How's there. It, yo, can we bring R. Kelly out? Can we bring him back no. since he's doing 30 years? No. We can't put him back in the surround. No, right? no, no. You're chucked. Y'all ain't gonna step his name in love if it comes on? No, I was listening to World's Greatest the other day. I needed some motivation. I can't even front on that. Like, yeah, you can't. You can't. <clears throat> I ain't gonna hold They you. told y'all eight times Michael was messing with them kids, and y'all was still like, beat it! Beat it! I'm gonna keep it a stack with y'all. The day he was found, the day he was found guilty, I put him back. I, I created an R. Kelly playlist. Damn, that's crazy. Did you play it immediately? I did. But like, <laughs> <laughs> even even though even though I Alexa, stopped listening to his music, let me step in the name of love. Nah, he couldn't dodge. He was making songs about it. Nah, yeah, he had to hide his shit out. <laughs> he was just still he, making music. Yeah, because he was killing with the yeah. The step in the name of love was. A yeah, he was making the most positive he music. He played it everywhere. He couldn't dodge it. Nah, so, so y'all ain't putting it back in the show. Nah, I'm listening to him. I don't, I don't fool. With, I mean. I, you know what though? I'm a hypocrite because I listened to the albums before I saw the video. So did you like it? What? You listened to the albums oh. before you saw? Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. Oh. The albums before the video came out, I, I'll listen to. That. You saw the video, the actual video. Yeah, that was. Yeah. It was rough. No, it wasn't rough. Like. <laughs> I watched the documentary. Like it was like. I watched like, the we doc. Were, we were in New York, and they had you know they, they had the bootlegs and we got it. There was other videos that he was on there. Come on, you guys have turned on darker porn than that in life. <laughs> no, was, That's the I mean, thing about it. Like, it they're, 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 they're crucifying for... 14. That's the only That's thing, you know what I mean? Is. Your yeah. boy watched a teen porn before. Yeah. Okay, yeah. honestly. You, you straight, what's good, girl? The crazy thing is, yo, like, yo, he almost got away. He did get away with the video thing, right? He did get away. He he was si- That's he crazy. Was sizing it up. Like wow. he was looking. Who looks nothing like him? Right. When they, well, why would you throw your brother under the bus like right. that too? Did you see the finding R. Kelly where his brother talked? No. Was, nah, uh, I didn't see that. No, he's, so he's in jail when they was interviewing him. And he's like, he was, he was basically still riding for him, but he was basically saying like, nah, it wasn't him. Like you could see it clearly it wasn't him. It looks like it was, he doesn't, they don't favor. Person. Like it's not one of them brothers. Like it looks like they're, they're the kind of brothers where you could clearly mistake them for even being related they, they don't even look like so yeah but yeah so he he just he he was sizing the camera up man yeah but he said like, like you know what i'm saying he, he was nah. making he was making excuses like he was sizing it up like he was yeah he definitely yeah, he was. was he was looking at the camera right like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was yeah. you yeah. now you aren't getting the stroke right i gotta move yeah, the camera and go on moving in remember when the video was all in the barber shops and shit uh-huh Oh shit! Uh, yeah, that was ugly. That's how it used to be. That's how you went viral. You're all in the barber shops, bro. It's on the CDs, bro. Trapped in the closet, part thirty-seven. Yo, damn, that's crazy. That, that got out of hand. Hell <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm still in the closet. It was like there was like ten parts, right? Yo, he had his he had that music video set up like a payment plan. Like that, yeah, he's like, yo, you yo, pay me the other to deposit. Time, right? That's it, bro. Nah, nah, you got the other part. You got the payment. You got the payment this week, bro. Uh, uh, no, way. yo, no, dark, yo, boss man. Can we before we go? You know this Hollywood's here. I never saw that. I, I never be, watched it. Yeah, because I, nah, cause somebody, cause told, cause somebody told, me told me what it was before. It, it's like, gross. I never went, I yeah. watch but boss, how do I get as many vacations as Hollywood bonds? I just want to know. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Put me in that. I need that contract. She's not on vacation. She's, She's actually working right now. So. <laughs> Wow. So yeah, she's not she's not playing hooky this time. Mm-hmm. This time, no PTOs. she ain't got no PTOs anyway. But Hollywood is a traveling. She's a traveling mofo, yo. She be, be out. Cuz be out. What up, Hollywood? That's how you are supposed to do it. Um, let me introduce everybody because hey. obviously Hollywood is gone. So we got e is in the building. Here. We got I am Kenzie in the building. Hey, yo, it's your boy Jess Kenzie. Do it because I just can't. 
We got Alonzo Williams Jr. in the building. Shop wood, carry water. And I'm your host, Blast. This is Say Less Podcast, and, and this is episode 175, which I feel like should be a milestone. Yeah. But yeah, we 175, yeah. we getting grown and older. So it's the 175th anniversary. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 175th anniversary of all. Uh, yeah, and whatever. <laughs> I do want to say, unfortunately, uh, the Queens won't be on today, but E is here. Yeah. And they were going to talk about something that's on their page. Oh, and I wanted shit. you to bring it up because we need to talk. Spice. Let's discuss this. Spice. Yeah. What up, sis? What up, girl? Spice alert. What up, girl? Spice what up, alert. girl? That's what I like to see. My girls are out living their best life this week. So Spice alert. They left me here with the boys. I need you to send help. Uh, <laughs> we didn't even get into it I yet. I know be telling y'all we ain't that bad. I sometimes. know, damn, it's an experience. Sometimes. 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 Yeah, I'm so, questionable. Spice alert. We had a post on our page this week, and it was my boyfriend's 19-year-old daughter moved into my house with us. Psych. She's disrespectful and promiscuous. I caught her with a boy, and she begged me not to tell her dad. Well, I did. He raged. She revealed that she's a side chick, not his child. Now they sleep in my Wait, bed, what? in my house, and refuse to move out. Oh shit! I read that the whole wrong way. That's crazy. Um, the first time you we read through that, I missed that one key yeah, part. That one key part. And I, I said, "City boys up," but she was in the side dude's house with the wife, and she had another dude. That's crazy. So city girls might be yo, yo. It, this might be hot girl That's song. Crazy. Hot girl, hot girl, like, oh, boy. Let's talk about it. All the city girls That's did was fucking just crazy. Close the gap by three points. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was that was some. It was, the city, I feel, it was savage on every part. Yeah, the city girls hit a oh. three pointer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and, 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 and city boys had a lot more points too, because city boys definitely uh uh there's a black there's a black uh. Boy, man, that is boy, man. I don't know if he's a boy or a man because I don't know how old the daughter is, but <laughs> man, boy, he knocked down. Wait, wait a minute, he's hey, knocking down Bill Gates' daughter. So, oh, oh. Right, right. city boys is way up for that right now. <laughs> yeah, billionaire, yeah, billionaire yeah. yeah. Yes. I'm not good. Yeah, city yeah, he's up for that. Yeah, he's up for that. <laughs> That's definitely an up. Where did that come from? That's an up, up. I don't know. It was, I, I've heard the young people saying it. I just adopted it. I probably like got I, see I little... feel like it's, it came from City Girls. It came from yeah, the city, yeah. It was a song. <laughs> yeah, it was a song, and then the guys were like, "Well, we can't have that." Just like when No Scrubs came out, you guys had to make your own version. Mm -hmm. So it's Hot Girls and City Boys. That's, mm -hmm. but I don't. I think City Boys is. Don't they kind of winning right, right now. I, like I, about, I see people about, post it on uh, social media. I think it's funny. That meme was going cr crazy on that your page. Right? crazy. Yeah. Yo, I mean, I mean this situation I'm is. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm getting a check out of that shit too. Like, that's real. Just call me what you want. She's what, a billionaire. What, what, what? This, oh yeah, this, this is. Mess. Oh the. This is that's real mess. I'm busting the. I'm getting a check, bro. Wow. How are you not I don't care. So let's let's break it down like this. E, if you are the wife in this situation, mm -hmm. you're dying. I'm going to jail. Like I don't. In what world are you gonna go online and be like, well, what, like, basically, what do I do? Help. What do you mean? What do you do? You Everybody ain't bullied. And his whore. Can now we break this down? Your house. Can we? Can we? Can we? <clears throat> we don't, we is don't. there a discussion that can be had where we can talk about this and maybe we can all work something out? But hold on, <laughs> hold on. But you don't know the scenario. What does Shorty look like? Because this could be a whole situation and, where. And, and how old is this girl? How old is this girl? Well, you gotta think if it's believable that this nineteen-year-old was his daughter. Oh. He's at least gotta be forty, mid maybe thirties at least. Mid to late. What if she's gully though, and you're not gully? That's what it comes down to. Because you're getting brooded in your own crib. Somebody's not gully here. Yeah, I think he, he somebody's lost, not he lost about a lot that life. When I heard the she got caught with, with another dude, and he, I was like, oh wait, yeah, I missed that. Whole somebody's thing. not about that life. <laughs> and you're like and you're mad as hell, and your wife saying you're mad as hell about your side chick cheating. <laughs> the side chick is cheating. Yeah. Is that a thing? Can a side chick cheat? No. Okay, you <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you talking about? Boy 
Who told? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's that, her house. That means that means, that means the wife. Up. That means the wife's not about that life. Yeah, they know the wife ain't shit. Wife. Like, I mean, not ain't shit. They know the wife ain't about that. It's not his wife though. She said my boyfriend's daughter. Uh, so you guys aren't married. Why is he still in your house? Yeah. yeah. She can't. Wow. This is a really complex situation. It's, it's complicated. It's messy. Kind of really like messy. above my pay grade, above, above my education level. Bro, she's 19 though. She's an adult, right? Bro, if I say get out my house, bro, I can just throw you out and then lock the door. Lock the fucking door. I don't give a fuck about no law. Even yeah, like what are you talking about? Like how you sound? The attempt on the man's part. Might have to be City Boy still up. <laughs> I don't know how he thought he was gonna get away with that, but he did. For she no, played her part. He tried clown. to play her part. He's a clown because he fucked it up. Yeah. He yeah. fucked it up when he got mad and caught feelings, mm-hmm. and then she got in her back. Yep. Wow. What he should have just did was, daughter, you have to go back with your mom, mm-hmm. and been done with it. Mm-hmm. And just left. Daughter, it's time for you to go back with your mom. I'm not dealing really with this. Daughter, it's time for us. Yeah. Daughter, daughter, it's time. It's time for you. Let's go to lunch. Let's talk about this. Listen, yo, Shorty. You, Shorty. You out here wildin', Shorty. You out here bringing another nigga to the gym. Ah, man, you gotta go back. To, you gotta go back over there, wait, Shorty. Wait, wait. She yeah. to the crib? Yeah. Into the she crib. Shorty, you brought the yeah. Shorty to the crib. Shorty, you wildin'. Nah, you, you might gotta get mad. You gotta get, at least get out. We can still do yeah, whatever. You gotta get out. You That's gotta not cheating. But you gotta play. It's not cheating. But, but you gotta take her. I'm taking my daughter to lunch, bitch. You it's not cheating. But it's disrespectful as fuck. Because now you in my crib. Fuck. Like, you now you wildin'. But you, you're disrespectful first because you brought her there. But it's all you know is disrespectful that you're here. The fact that she's in the crib is disrespectful. So she disrespect. You're just like, all right, this is how you's are playing the game. So you fucking she's playing the game. And me in my house where you don't pay no rent because you're a kid in my mother. In my, in why my did she come? Up. Why did she come there to begin with? Why did he move Mind her in there? I would never do it's any of this. This is crazy. This is wild. No, but th- that's but clearly that's a side bitch, right? Yeah. So why did they move the side bitch into the crib? For like convenience, like a polygamy yeah. attempt? I guess. I guess. Well, they didn't, the That's wife, what I'm trying to figure out. The wife girlfriend didn't know that he, she thought it was the daughter. Because I feel what you're saying, but this is a dirty game. Oh, yeah. Hey, you feel me? So but you're you, not in my house. You move me in. And you have me in here playing daughter? You, but okay. You can have this dude, you can have this dude anywhere. <laughs> you you going to bring him to my crib? But you move me in so you know I don't got nowhere to stay? <laughs> you don't got nobody for no hotel, nigga. Play Come on, man. This is a dirty game. Uh, right. Because she's on that ass, son. She needs a, I need help. She might have to lick shots their way. <laughs> is that what but you I do? feel like there, there must have been some deal in place. Before she moved in, for her to be moving in there, there is that's that's more than just your side. Yeah, it's more to it. There's more to it. So there probably was some sort of agreement, like you can't be out fucking up. See, this is what happened. I already if, see it. I see it. If he moved her in, yeah, th- th- that's that's the part we're not discussing. If, mm-hmm. if 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 he moved her in, and they're that far, that's a relationship. Mm-hmm. He has feelings for that woman. Mm-hmm. So, uh-huh. And she's looking so, at the door when he's smashing his girlfriend. So this is what happened. She had her own spot, probably. That's messy. <laughs> she had potential. She's probably paying her out. Mom found out some shit. Got to move her out. Listen, you need to figure out what you're going to do for me, OG. Since you the old head fucking with me, young bull. Since you can't get no bitches your age. I know. So- <laughs> I've, I've heard of situations where the side chick. Moved in, but it was not. A, like, she probably threatened him, low it, key. I, I've, Do something, or I'm exposing of, you. I've heard of situations where the man got jammed up, and then he just confessed, like, mm-hmm. "Listen, I I love both of you, and this is what I this is." Wow, that's and, weird too. And then I've I've heard of the other woman moving Get in and they just here. fuck it. Oh yeah, you, I, I've had been seeing like recently. About yeah, like I've 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 heard of that. Polyamorous, and if that's your agreement, that's cool. There's a but. You can't be like, oh yeah, I'm in a polyamorous, and the one person thinks that you're. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Because you're lying still. You're you're lying. I seen this. I seen something this week where this girl had been writing the dude. He was locked up. She had been writing him. They were in a relationship. You know what I mean? And then he got out and got another girl. (laughs) And then she put her money together and left and went where he was at anyway. 
and maybe all three of them. I saw that. Yo. Did she? That's yeah. the right game. That's the poetry game for you right they, there. They, they, yeah, I, I saw that too. Um, I invested so much time. Sometimes, That's crazy. But, but sometimes honesty is the best policy because sometimes yeah, you'd be surprised the, what you the person into, you're bro. with might be okay with it. Yeah. They might be like, listen, I just want honesty. And as long as I can have honesty and a respect and still have you the same nice. way and the same feelings that we have, mm-hmm. then let's do it. Mm-hmm. Because And uh, that's okay. And vice mm-hmm. versa. Like the, Some men are okay with that. I just saw something. Uh, I forgot where I saw it. But it was a man and a woman. I think it was on TikTok. I saw a video. It was a man and a woman. And they were saying how... He likes for her to go out and sleep with other men and come home, like that's his thing. He he like he appreciates when she goes out, finds the most well endowed man that she can find right. and bring him home, and and he's also bisexual. Right. Um. So, but that's 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 his thing, and that's how he gets off. And they're happy. They've been and together. He wants to watch. They've been together. No, he doesn't even watch. They said in the beginning. They said in the beginning he would uh. Like hide in the closet. Yeah. Hey, yo. Here's my thing. And then, Kev, Kev, and, then, I mean, and then they said like as the years went on, he sometimes he just lets her go. He but he tells her to take videos and shit. I'll keep it a bean. Here's my thing. Here's my thing. Yo, whatever gets you off, bro, that's hey, it's twenty twenty two. You want me to go find the biggest dick I can But here's the thing. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. This 2022 you niggas find, is burning. You, you got your shorty just go fucking any nigga wow. just coming home and when I want to get some you burn me, bitch. Hey, <laughs> hell nah, you going hell nah. This is too much freedom. Gotcha. Hell nah, we got it. We got. I, I need to examine you. Hey, sir, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so how many bodies do you have? Do you have any test but results? That's just the way he You're good. That other side of himself. If he's bisexual, then. If, you have interest and that's probably just how he satisfies it without cheating maybe i don't know if you're with it yeah i, don't I care guess what whatever i always Need say it. there's some weirdo out in like kansas right now that thinks anything beyond missionary is right dirty like, yeah. you know so like whatever floats your boat like, <laughs> maybe, it maybe i want to tell to me nasty exactly i don't like, count i'm gonna bend you over don't yeah don't real count. good yeah did, did y'all see that meme on our page it was like the freaky shit y'all you i know you saw it the uh, freaky shit that y'all did yeah, yeah. wow <laughs> don't know like yeah. I, I was about to put the throw up emoji like i'm not thinking about that yo I, I was, was really. Like, t- as soon as I saw it, I was like, "Oh no!" Yeah, that was. <laughs> and I shared it. I shared it. No matter what you say, it is the answer is wrong. Nah, no. but I'd rather it be my dad. I just say that. Wow. There were a lot of people that answered though. There were a lot of people that were like, "Oh yeah, yeah I get it from my dad." Because nobody, get- nobody wants to say their mom was a hoe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nobody wants to say that. Being a hoe. She can be a freak. You are. You're exactly right, and I, I mean no disrespect, but nah, bro. some of the things nah, that bro. I like. Nah, bro. I hope that neither of my parents liked. Yo. <laughs> I like to think of it like this. I have two older brothers, so there's three of us. In my mind, my parents have had sex three times in their entire life, and that's it. I, and I like to think of it like just that. To, just to reproduce. That's it. Nah. <laughs> I don't even think about it. Nah, so check this out. I, you talk about freaky shit. I'm going to say you're freaky shit. Make it quick, right? So, boom. I used to. You ever make, think about all. Before you say that, real quick. All the mothers that kiss their child with the mouth that wow. they. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. My mom. <laughs> and my mom's watching. Don't get mad. Or even a man. Even a man, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah same the box and then go. You no. Know. And then go kiss. Imagine the times right like after. Dick in your mouth last night. I heard you. No, those times when she came out in the middle of the night when she came out. What's wrong, baby? Go back to sleep. Mm-hmm. She just. Mama, yo. Talking in the room. Yeah. I didn't yeah. know what's going on. Those times you didn't know no better and she kissed you and she came out with a robot and you didn't know what was up. <laughs> Nothing, baby. Kiss you. Go back to sleep. Uh, yo, I had. I had to a hotel party. You what? Don't even remember. That means yes. Oh man. Yeah, you did it too. Uh, I don't. Maybe I don't. Nah. You kiss your kids with box mouth. <laughs> nah. Yeah. I wasn't a. I, got, I didn't really kiss them since they was babies. Like like three, four, mm-hmm. five, and I don't. I don't remember just waking up like. Oh hey, mwah, box mouth. Now. <laughs> now. Yo, oh, that's what? crazy. Yo! <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm playing. I'm joking. Yo! That's but- crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Everybody just looking at the producer decks like, yo, you're wild. You're wild. Yo. 
<laughs> it's say less, y'all. <laughs> Hell yeah. So he's about to be buried in the backyard. <laughs> I mean, I, you wanted me to lie, but I, I was already in the story. I was in the middle of the story. I had to go with... The, they expect me to be honest on here. I'll be honest. I call my, I told my mom not to rent a hotel next to the uh, the kind of lodge out in Reading on Fifth Street. You know what I'm saying? She was like, yeah, I'm going out there with my new boyfriend tonight. I said, mom, let me know what room you get so I don't do this hotel party right next to your room. You feel me? Boy, I've been doing this for years. I'm not going to. It's not going to happen. Yeah, I've been doing hotels here for like the six months. So I've been doing this shit. So, boom, I'm partying. I come out right on the balcony, right? Boom. My mom's outside. Bro. <laughs> uh, Bro! Wow. Fucked your whole night up. <laughs> I swear to God, bro. I was like, I fucking told you, lady. Wait, no, 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 no. On the bathroom, like, in balcony. Like, a boom. Balcony, getting boom. Boom. In? Bro, yo. Oh <laughs> shit! You walk in on your mom no, I okay. So we're partying. on the we're partying. balcony. We're partying. So boom, I see. We open the door. You know, like the hotel drones and the balcony drones be so my aunt, my aunt was pulling up. Boom, she was coming out. They coming out all extra. I come out and look. Bang. You know what I'm saying? Spun the nigga around. Now. <laughs> so I come out. Boom. Look. My mom wants some free condo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yo, what's up with you? I told you. <laughs> Oh, that was y'all partying? Y'all's is partying. <laughs> y'all's is partying. I know you just got liquor up in there. Yo, what the <laughs> fuck? Yo, what the fuck? I want to lose what the know what fuck? I would do. I, I would lose my lunch, yo. Bro, I my whole, I'm going home. Night's oh, over for me. I'm, I'm telling yeah. you, yo, I'm going home. I I'm out. I would have been done when she said, I'm going to get a hotel room to get some. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, I would have right. been done. Uh, mom don't tell me that. That's because we're all in the city. It's in the city, bro. So boom, we're all. Did your city. people see? Bro, bro. <laughs> nah, hold on. So hold on. 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 So boom, the joint I'm doing it with is my cousin. So that's only people that with facial recognition. That's what we knew it was my aunt. <laughs> so we're out there, we're throwing the joint people in there. You know what I'm saying? We doing what we do. You know what I'm saying? I'm keeping you know vague, whatever. Boom, we come out. She's like, cause she's like opening the door. I guess she's about to pull up. Boom, I come out. My uncle's my uncle. Cousin's like, yo, I turn out. I come out. I see my mom bang. She's out there. He's doing a freak on door, whatever weird shit, bro. Bro, it's just me and my cousin. And then people are trying to come out. They look at, oh my God, this shit is crazy, bro. I'm looking like, yo, this shit is wow. I don't even know. Wow. I don't even know, bro. I, yo, I don't. I don't even know, bro. What do you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. First of all, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. That's not the first time this has occurred. I had some shit happen when I walked in when I was like trying to go to the movies when I was like 11. And I walked in the way our crib was set up. You walked in the door, you see how like that is? How you open you can see it through the door where the like the box is. That's like the bedroom. So you can see like right to the bedroom. I walk right in. Getting jammed, son. <laughs> <laughs> door open, huh? Like, no, no. I'll never forget that. I didn't sleep. I, I didn't sleep. I think that's why I just I still I think that's why it's like low key have like sleep apnea and like I don't sleep and like I have like I'm different just thinking problems. in my head like like, so, like psychologically how that would have, you, that would have instantly changed me and my mother's relationship. Like, I can never look her in the eyes again. Yeah, yeah like, like I'm uh, what, do you, what do you do when you walk yeah what, I walk in the night. <laughs> I need the lights out. Look what that dude bass is. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't embrace the... I didn't embrace the... Yeah, what did he say? What did he say? He said, Yo, that's so I mean, he evoked his dog. I never that's saw the sun until I was there. I was never seen the sun until I was there. Near me. <laughs> Jesse, you're dark as shit, bro. Yeah, whatever, man. You don't know what I've been through. <laughs> like, it, 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 as you slowly unpeel that onion, yeah. I see... I've been caught. I mean, my brother, my brother's been caught more than like I've been parents? caught. Me? My yeah, dad. I've been caught. Get the fuck out of here. What would he say? And I was young. I was in high school. I don't even. Early stages when we, you know, your 
You're learning to lock the doors behind you and double <laughs> lock and put like, you know, a trap. Yeah. Know, yeah. So you can hear Yo, them coming. Yeah. Because before I had learned those things. And yeah, this was my first boyfriend. Wow. Luckily, we weren't like fully into it yet, but like clothes were off. We were in bed. We weren't like. It was like yet. jump up and the covers on type yeah, shit. Yeah, <laughs> like it was. Oh, God, it was bad. Wow. Hey. Ooh. It was awful. I, I couldn't talk about that for a while. Hold on, so you just have to wait to use the teenagers. You just want to hear a story. You want to hear about But I this karma. No, nah, so check it. I was like six, right? And I used to say, remember Channel Eighty Eighty? Remember Channel Eighty Eighty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like come on, like come on. Yeah, whatever. You know what yeah, Channel I was talking about? I already knew what Little Freak Ari sauce. Freak Ghost sauce. Ninety seven. That's what you are. Yeah, say me, me too. Join the club. So boom, I used to be watching that drill. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like a lot. So boom. My mom walked in on me, bang. I'm not gonna lie, low key, you know what I'm saying? With the pillow, Lito, you know what I'm saying? Keep it vague with the pillow, you know what I'm saying? Try humping the pillow. <laughs> so oh, I, I was like oh, six. She, yeah, she, so that's not even a twist. That's, that's, you're like, oh, okay, boom. No, it's not a twist. She didn't just let it go at that. She was like, get out of here, you little nasty. Go tell your dad. And the oh, time my dad was still alive. So I was like, yeah, you have to go look this guy, grown ass man, in the face. <laughs> tell him what you did. <laughs> tell him what you did. Tell him what I caught you doing. Hi, 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 hi. Tell him! Hi. I was humping the pillow with watching porn. <laughs> <laughs> watching squiggly porn. Not even Yo, porn. I think it. I'd rather get caught with a chick than humping uh, the pillow. <laughs> he got caught with his first girlfriend. Yo, yes, yes, yes. crazy. I'll never forget that. You don't know I have so much dark shit in my head. I shouldn't even play you for that, though. Because everybody, like, teenagers. I was like six. You're, you're more horny in your teenage years than you ever are in life. Yeah. They put me on early. Uh, I'll tell you, that ass, they put me on early. I was on early. You know? I was on early. My mom used to have this sh- shop, shop on 3rd Street. I don't know what it was. They were breaking down this building. Like, this little convenience store or whatever on 3rd Street. They was I was at the chill outside where my mom was working in the store. You know what I'm saying? They had this, like, little thing outside like this little like cliff thing you know what i mean like little stone thing bro i was like five nothing but like all types of porn bros like i swear to god i was like porn mags i opened them joints up in a low you know i did it changed my life forever <laughs> 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 fuck my life up i'm telling you i don't know what to think but like because you're, you're a scorpio no fuck that i was like four you put me on titties all types of variety of pussy light nipples dark nipples black people chinese people i was like oh my <laughs> And then it just fucked me up. The then I seen video. Channel 88 one day. I was like, oh, heaven. <laughs> that wow. was fucked me up. Squiggly. Yeah, it was, I didn't care. <laughs> it was ugly. But that, that, that was crazy. I only came close to getting caught by my parents once. And I was already, like, out of school. I was, I was like, I think I was, like, 19. <laughs> and there was a girl I brought home, and they went out. They went out that night. So I was like, boom. But... You know, whatever happened, happened, and we fell asleep. So uh, don't ever fall asleep. Yeah, you don't fall asleep, bro. I woke up to, because I did lock the door, <laughs> which wasn't allowed at my house. Uh, you don't lock the door at your crib, you, especially when you got a girl. That, all I hear is, doom, 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 doom. Oh, I know you ain't in there with no girl. She, all I hear is, hurry up, hurry up. My dumb ass opened it. Open the door and we ain't even dressed yet. Uh, Yo. So yeah, it was. It was. It wait, was. wait, 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 wait. So you open the door naked? Huh? You open the door naked? I mean, Winnie the Pooh style for wow. sure. Wow, <laughs> that's crazy. It was Shirt on. definitely Winnie the Pooh style. And that's she crazy. She wasn't dressed at all. Uh, and all I remember hearing was. That girl was in your dad's class. Why are you messing with that little girl? Because the girl was still at McCaskey. She was a, a senior at McCaskey. But I was 19. You know what I mean? So they, like, she, but she made me feel like I wasn't shit because I was out of school <laughs> messing with this. <laughs> That's crazy. And wow. then I had to do the walk of shame because my mom doing all that yelling into my dad's in the kitchen and I had to walk through the kitchen with the girl to take. It was bad. It was yeah. bad. It was bad. Yeah. It wasn't oh, yeah. like, it wasn't like mid. Like I didn't get caught like that, but that was the closest time I ever got caught like by my parents. And I, my mom. By that time, I was kind of like breaking my innocence too with my parents because they done yeah. found shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My mom walked 
See, I wasn't doing anything. Like, we were early stages of the visit. She was looking at college. I had a pile of college letters next to my bed. She was looking at them. <clears throat> and that's it at that time. But my brother turned me in. That's why she came up to the attic. Because I could, like when I heard the door open, I was like, man, you know what I got? And I heard her steps. And I was like, oh. oh and then oh. she looked up over the banister and just went back downstairs. And like, <laughs> didn't, she didn't shut the door, though. And I was like, you already know what time it is. You got to go. <laughs> You gotta go. Yo, I think, I thank God I never caught my kids. Yeah. Because I don't even want to see them like that. Like, I don't even want to see them in that light. And my kids are grown now. Like, it's, they're 19 and 20. I got one that'll be 21 in three months. And I'm not even ready for that. Like, but <clears throat> still, I don't, no, 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 no. Yeah. I don't even want to think about that. That's something like my parents, I don't want to think about that. If I see it, oh. I'm not thinking about that. I'm I feel like I feel like Karma has that for me for my son. So uh, I'm gonna be, but I think I think Karma has this for me. I'm pretty sure you got your freak from your mom. No disrespect. Yeah, definitely. Did. <laughs> you get it from your mama. Yes, <laughs> 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 sir. <laughs> sir. <laughs> Talk to me after this. <laughs> Ew. And yeah. listen, I could possibly too, but I'm hoping that's not the case. It's, I, I, I don't want to talk about, but I know, I know what it is. I know, I know what it is. Let's I know. Keep the spice going though. I know. Let's keep, so yeah, we weren't on for two weeks. Yeah. We wasn't. I missed so, you guys. Huh? Missed you guys. Just keep the spice going. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> so we ain't been on for two weeks. So we missed the whole uh, bringing the the, the kids uh, McDonald's, and yeah. we didn't get to talk. Fuck about that. that shit. Um, <laughs> And I am, uh, you know I I'm, I'm a parent. Now, granted, my kid, I don't have to deal with this because my kid is grown now. Mm-hmm. But I don't. You still break kids. Like, like if, if, if he was younger, closer to his siblings' age, I am so far disconnected from her and and them kids. I don't know them at all. Like, I have no, I don't, I've never even been in the same room with them. I don't, maybe like once or twice. Um, and that's not a, not an excuse, but I'm just saying, like, if he called, honestly, I wouldn't even be thinking about, like, my mind wouldn't go to your, it'd be like, oh, you're hungry? Oh, yeah, I got you. Boom. I'm right. up. Like, so, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want, so it's not even on some selfish shit. If I had a relationship with them, it, it would probably be different because I would be thinking, like, oh, but what about your brothers and sisters? But I don't know. Like, they're, his, I think his his next sibling is, like, eight or nine Ten years younger than him. You know what I mean, so oh, she got little ones. So no, yeah, little baby, little, little ones. Yeah, oh. it's different if like it's an older kid. Like you had a relationship. Right. That's, that yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. So I man, pause that. Listen, I was with my baby mom for five years. Five, five of them joints. That's half a decade. It's a long time for a motherfucker like me. Okay? <laughs> All right, because I'm a fucking born killer. All right, so, so that doesn't work <laughs> like that. And I'm cool with that. And you'd be like, oh, one day you're going to die alone. That stuff doesn't scare me. So I, <laughs> that doesn't, that goes out my ears and out the other. But what is what it is? If my son calls me and says he's hungry and I have a relationship with all of them, if it's not clearly indicated that everybody in that crib is fucked up and hungry, I'm bringing it for my kid, That's the bro. Other thing. Like, but you got five, was there's the four other, other kid, motherfuckers, bro. If the kid called. But and let's not get it I'm fucked up. My baby, I'm not talking bad on my baby mom ever, because my baby mom gets busy. Was like she knew he was coming. Yeah, she, yeah, that's. And, what it, and then that. she dropped her video where it said they was together, and when they was together, he used to get for all the kids. So now the kids don't understand that. My, and and I, however this sounds to whoever, my answer to that is fuck that and fuck them. I don't know. I don't like. That's not my right. responsibility. Okay, so check it. If you're living in the crib with those I kids. I don't mean fuck them. Like, I want something to happen to them kids. Yeah, I mean, like, fuck them just, because my kid called me. Yeah, and yeah. when my kid calls me, yeah. I don't think I have to take care of your five because I got kids to you. Yeah. That's not my responsibility. It's We're not. their dad. And what, what the fuck are you doing? With exactly. <laughs> exactly. He shouldn't be penalized because his dad. He's not penalized. Him. I don't care. Penalize him because his dad. Because he got a good dad and you fucked a bunch of ain't shit, dude. Like, exactly. I get the idea that like little kids don't know. They don't know the difference when they see their one of their siblings with McDonald's and it's oh why can't I have? I get your dad ain't shit. Are gonna get hurt by that and they're not gonna understand that concept. 
it's also not that one child's parent responsibility to go and take care of all the others. It's not. It's, it's not their responsibility. I and agree. at the same time, this woman's talking about, well, you know, I don't get food stamps till next week. Who cares? Responsibility. But That's the other issue in itself. She made a follow-up video though. She had her nails. Her done. nails done. She hair, eyelashes, eyelashes yeah. hair done. Makeup done. You she had that video. That, that video right there had almost a thousand dollars on her face. Yes. <laughs> Facts. On her face and head I had a thousand dollars. Why? To- why are we worried about EBT when you are looking like that? Yeah. I don't care if she went to CVS and bought those lashes for ten dollars. That's ten dollars that would have gone to feeding two other kids. What are happy meals? Five dollars. No, nah, happy put- meals. You could go to save a lot and get a whole week. Don't put on. Yeah. Don't put on the good baby dad. What the bad baby dads won't do like That's your bad easy. decisions aren't on all of your baby dads yeah. and, and like, like and another you see thing, that a lot and though another thing the other kids didn't see it mm-hmm. like she can i get can i can i take him with me it just, for him not to be able to go with him go with his dad oh well, now he can't go with his dad now because his dad got him something to eat that's like, that's what i think would have fixed the situation like if she's if her complaint is because the other kids are going to feel bad then when he comes with food for that one child, let them go off. Let them drive down the street and sit in the car and have right. lunch together so the other kids don't see it. Or just <clears> have throat> him throat> take him out. I'm, I would have probably took him out. That would have been handling. Yeah, or just That's the other part. I would just pick them up. Oh, we yeah. going to McDonald's then. Okay. Exactly. She threw it on the floor. I would have been like, all right, we're well, cool. Yeah, cool. I'll, give me my kid. That's we we, we going to need because he hungry. Said, she was like, he always does this, which means that that man always is providing food for his child. For his kid. And he's not getting any credit for that. It's his kid. His exactly. kid. Exactly. Like, it, I just, she's in the wrong. Like, every, every, like, like and that's uh, another you. thing. That's another, th- another issue. You're expecting him to get stuff for his kid and yours all the time. That's crazy. Money's tight down here. Inflation's real. Maybe he couldn't afford to also, buy for all the kids. Also, and no disrespect to anybody who's on ABT, but just that right there shows what type of situation she's in. And... <clears throat> No, it just shows where our priorities at, cause it's a little excuse, bro. But when you, yeah, and I'm sure not when you when you not when your weaves when done, I and see, your nails are done. When I see her, everything's tight like that. That means you're probably going out still. So you outside Next. because if you wasn't outside, you wouldn't be looking like you wouldn't that. Worry about mm-hmm. that stuff. So you're outside, you're still moving around, you're still doing this, this, and that. Your priority should be your kids. It shouldn't Next. be. And if, and if you still are doing all that, you shouldn't even be on EBT because you got enough money to go out and, and get drunk mm-hmm. and, and be in the clubs and mm-hmm. do this, this, and that. Why ain't there food on your kids' table? Because mm-hmm. Hennessy ain't cheap. Ciroc yeah. ain't cheap. No, 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 Cosmigos Amigos ain't cheap. No, nah, again, your nails and toes done ain't cheap. That weave, that $300 weave ain't cheap. Trust me, I know. I'm just yeah. I say that word, but I know I pay for it. Uh, no yeah, weave. That, that was whack. To try, no, to, was, that's the shit. try to make him look bad. That was whack. That was, was, yeah, I would. That shit was mad rash. And, and I want to be clear too. I want to give a shout out to whoever that dude is because he handled it better than I would. He did. As soon as I would have saw that camera was on, and she was trying to show out, and I came and bro- like it would have went a whole different way. Mm-hmm. And. <clears throat> I mean, like, I would have I just started barking. I would have been like, oh, that's what we talk about? Well, why ain't your other kids eating? Let's start there. Well, man, let's, talk let's, let's talk about that. Well, you, wasn't you just out last night, but, but, your, but your EBT car ran out? Like, I, I would have... Yeah, yeah, we would have... You out here fucking these niggas? You need to ask them for $40. That might have been my first question when he's talking about, can you bring me something to eat? I'm like, your mom didn't cook? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And why do I got to bring everybody McDonald's food? 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 Everybody McDonald's Lunch, can't make some peanut butter and EBC, damn. And let's, and let's be real clear, too. The audacity for me, if you have kids to a bunch of different dudes, you're going to have to understand that they're going to get treated differently because they're to different dudes. All of them dudes ain't going to handle their obligations like they're supposed to. It's not up to one that's doing good to handle his obligation for all of yours. That's not how it goes. Yeah. It, your decisions decide... Anymore. So if, if if you got two, if, if, say you got three kids. If you got two baby dads and ain't doing shit, and you got one that's great for his kid, that don't mean he's his he's obligated. I don't care how what your relationship was. Yeah. If y'all ain't together now, yeah. then what are we talking about? She's gonna destroy the relationship with that one good one with that kind of behavior. Yep. Yep. Because yeah, even if you don't got, even if your EBT's up, 
um, get a loaf of bread, get a jar of peanut butter, get a jar of jelly, keep it in your house for like three months. It'll live and you, well, not the bread, but it'll live and you can make peanut butter and jelly. You'll be fine. It's cheaper than Shit. Than like, don't act yeah. like I don't do that shit, man. Listen, yeah. Yeah, red week, you know what I'm saying? He be like, bloop, bloop, other bills come out. He be like, damn. Like, like, he be like, damn, you got to have the, uh, nobody wants you got to have that fallback plan. I ain't somebody. too proud to say that shit. So when he goes, and people better stop fronting because times is oh, tough out here. Shit is getting exactly. real tight. Like, Inflation is happening. We, we are on the way to another recession. Mm-hmm. Let's be clear. People ain't balling. So yeah. come, humble yourselves. Yeah, and, and, and so nah. when he takes his kid. Shopping for school or whatever. Does he got to get everybody else clothes? Facts. Exactly. Facts. Oh, shit. If he wants to take his son to the game, he got to take everybody to the game, too? That's corny. Yeah. So if sure. you have another baby, am I obligated again? Right, if you have another one. Because sometimes you... Listen, my, my, the mother of my child has three other kids. I, I don't know them. I, have, I, I really don't know them. Like I said, my son is grown, so... By the time she had them kids, my son was a teenager. Like, it just, he was 10. And then, you know, he was living with us. So it was like no reason for me. There was no reason to have a relationship. Yeah, so it would just be different. Like, I would, it wouldn't even cross my mind, like I said. Mm -hmm. But anyway, um, while we're keeping it spicy, I did Uh, did pose a question. Mr. Spicy. (laughs) I posed a question on our page. And if you are easily offended, um, you might want to tune out now. But. I'm just saying, I feel that it is time to let women know, or whoever you deal with, and this is my opinion, I haven't spoke to Zoe or Kanzi about this, <laughs> so I want to know what everybody thinks. I, I think it's time to retire hand jobs. They're trash. Men never liked them. They're whack. Yeah, like, they're there's whack. no reason to still, be, to, to, to still be physically jerking a dick. Yeah, I can do it myself. Like, it's not a good feeling. I'm better than it at you. I guarantee you I'm better than it at you. Wow. I'm better than you and you. We need to be honest. I'm gonna have. I'm. I'm glad. I'm glad you're tired of it because I'm tired of doing it. Okay. Why you do it? You did it. They asked. asked, They asked. Who? If we're we're making out or we're doing something that you know, oh, just grab it for a little. You know what I mean? As we're continuing. Oh. Oh, yeah. Just just grab it for a little bit. As we're continuing down the foreplay road. Yeah, I'm tired of that. Why do I want to grab it? You don't want to grab it. Here's the thing. But women yeah. don't know how to jerk a dick because they don't have one. And the same reason why... Same the, reason the, I, don't know how to I was a good no, answer. Whoa, no. No, no, no. no, no don't do that. Uh, don't, don't do that. <laughs> don't. I Somebody. said what I said. Oh, my God. You about to <laughs> get me I caught said. up in the storm, boy. You about to get me... Boy, I'm telling you what. I'm, don't you so get... Some, but, but, but hold up. Because I've, 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 wow. I've been around... Y'all, I, I know Shit. a lot of women. I, I do know that... There is a lot of pussy. men who can't find where they're supposed to find the exactly. Clip. Wow. Um, I know, but for the same reason, men can't find some. Some of the men can't find that. My name is Jesse women Rose. Can't jerk Sometimes they're too rough. They're too good. Like, it, it's a weird like, yo, angle. Yo, get out of here. I feel like you're only supposed to do that. Look, in my head, you know, there's certain things. Like, it's better if you do it from around me. So unless I stand behind you and I'm doing it from behind you and give you a reach around, my hand's not in the right position like it's not going the right way and if it's like dry skin to skin oh, yeah like we can't no, we can't be in the car good. you can't be in the car it's like let me grab it gotta have awareness man yeah like don't Listen. just grab in the pool can and, we take roadhead off i've almost died of nah, that. nah 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 wait, roadhead nah wait, huh? roadhead wow, nah roadhead nah why would they do that Nah, Rohan's it. Nah. No, wait, no, nah. no. Who are we trading for? What are we trading, for? Are we trading, we trading for? for? We're taking no, shit off the table no, that nobody no, enjoys. Yeah, you're yeah, just taking shit off the table that you <laughs> might personally not enjoy. Every time I end up with like a bruised rib or something, like it's, it's not comfortable. It's, it's, it's not comfortable. Especially if you're not like in an SUV or yes, something. Like if you're in a car, it, it shouldn't be doing it's things in a car. Shit. <laughs> can't be trying to side mouth it. Oh, with the tail hits the back of the canine yeah, like you got put your knees, <laughs> knees on the passenger seat and yeah. and, and ladies don't put your weight on the on the on the leg to touch the gas. Yeah, <laughs> hold on, like don't hold do on. that. That's yeah. where the accident is happening. Yeah, yeah. Like we go from sixty to one hundred. <laughs> yeah, you're like why are you speeding? Because it feels good in your leg. Your pressure's oh, yeah, on my leg. Not, you're not supposed to be comfortable in this situation. There's oh. no leaning on the leg. I'm driving suffering. with this leg. This Just is sexual this. suffering. No, this is when you, this is when you gotta work the abs. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> every time, 
time. Basically, time. you gotta you gotta be like Mission Impossible. Oh yeah. Do it. yeah. yeah it's not yoga. Fun. I think I think <laughs> everyone who does um want to do that Pilates should be do Pilates or yoga or something, and that would it, it would yeah. It, yeah. would, it would make roadhead a lot easier for yeah. you. And I suggest you get a gag reflex because if you had like a speed bump or oh something, Lord. you might die. But am I lying? Like, hand jobs. You like them? No. Ever. Like, I mean, for myself, on the personal no, time. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, men can do For me. You know us. We know how saying. to get there. Most women don't. No. I've never had. Not a hand job. We do. I like <laughs> We do. <laughs> I like them. I mean, the hand job on like yourself. Not, I mean, not yeah. the whole way. You got to get there the on news. A little, no, I mean, a few little. I don't want to go the whole way. I don't it. mind it if it comes along. You got to chase the the hand job with some top. Yeah. <laughs> if you're, if you pull it out, I just, I tell you to grab it I mean, because it I want you to get prepare together. yourself. Yeah, you have to do better together. We have to keep going. We're not just gonna do that. I'm, what am I, I supposed I'm not. To yeah, this? but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about just like I'm just gonna give you this hand job. And then no. I want that to lead into you being turned on. I'm not turned on. I'm not. We're not turned on. I got brush pain. And I'm. I don't. I'm, I don't know. I, I got brush pain. Let this be play. clear. We. Huh? No, no. Go ahead. <laughs> hey yo. <laughs> What'd you say? Nah. You said you we're not turned on. He said we're not turned on. I don't know what you're going on. What? What's going on with you? Hey yo. So, so, I know. That's oh, cool. So y'all like hands? No. Dry no. That's what you're saying. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, man. We just get you tied up, man. No, I'm just saying. Nobody was a dry hand. Yeah, no, 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 Nobody so. was a dry hand job. <laughs> no. He just made it like, that's the words. Dry hand jobs, yeah. And yo, I want to be clear. The faster doesn't mean the better, too. Like, don't start doing this. Oh, that that's The so. shit that you see in the movies, our dicks don't work, work like that. <laughs> no. Nah. No. Nah. Be clear, you don't do this. <laughs> you like that? Wow. You like that? Yo! You like that? <laughs> it's about to detach. I need stitches. If, if we're going to talk about it, hurts. it hurts so much. Stop it. I can't take this. There is Uh-oh. one I need all men to understand. Look. When it comes to us, these are attached. Men do not know what to do with boobs. I don't know what you're a talking about. A lot of men don't. They don't know how to do it right. What you mean? They you can't. Right. Too aggressive. I think. They don't know how to rub them. It is not a clock. You are not turning a lid. What are you? Like, so wait a minute. So some they, guys are just a little. Guys, they turn your like, titties like this. Weird. They I don't think know by what to nature men are just aggressive. I they're think just... they're fascinated, but they don't know what to do. Wow, that's, that's crazy. crazy. I, th- I, I, I think. I see why you're so angry and aggressive all the time. We're not getting hit right. Yeah, I you're not getting hit right. That's I think the problem. Certain men yeah. don't know how to touch a woman because they're always used to being aggressive. You see therapy? Men are naturally aggressive. They're doing what they see. In, in movies that they watch and they think that that's don't do that don't do don't watch the movies you gotta no. you gotta learn on the <laughs> it's ask questions no you gotta you learn know. from your woman like no. I don't want this yeah you gotta learn the fly like Every that's what I'm saying like, like the same thing either. exactly so you need to let whoever you've never you been testing it out whoever you are with you need to let them teach you what they like like mm-hmm. and I I think some men just don't get that is it I think I'm gonna get mine. Yeah, like yeah. some men is like some no or or some men think oh, because, man. some men think because this work with that woman this is this, I'm gonna yo, do that with the last shooting is I was with yeah. she told me I was king sling dingling my move didn't work this time yeah. <laughs> Ashley oh she said that to all her niggas bro <laughs> yeah what do you what do you do with uh, like them cats that try to do it the same to everybody like what do they do in that move? but you can tell though you can't tell. What? Like if the same routine isn't if, the, if your routine isn't working the same way you don't make it notable. Like if you if you was with like say your last shorty and she was like yeah I like my shit on drill time you heard drill time the next shorty you gonna tell she already a little timid you're not gonna go in and start drill time on her shit you could tell don't know that. you could tell see you could like tie some you could try but you could tell she's just like you're like all right you might want to switch it up some of, like the, yeah, you good <laughs> like like the stroke that you no. thought was killing somebody else <laughs> the next woman would be like what the fuck are you nah. doing but you've been <laughs> in it too where you been you thought you was killing it with the with the tidy miss tidy tidy and you got in some shorty you was like <laughs> <laughs> when I was younger, when I was in my, like when Shorty, I was when I, I was young, when I first started getting it in, I, I thought that every woman wanted to be jackrabbit. Right? No, and that was that no, was sometimes young. some shorties like, they, they want you to they want no. you to move your hips with it. They want you to move it. game with the jaw. You got you got to get your hips and shit. <laughs> 
4G. He'd be like, yes, yes, move your hips. <laughs> this is Those a are problem. the 4G this like, is hey. <laughs> Oh, like that man. massage stroke, like you just gotta like you gotta like move in it. You gotta be in it, like you gotta be in it. And like, oh yeah, I like that. To some people, just yo, like yeah. Hey, yo, don't you ever grind on the couch where I'm sitting on the bed. <laughs> you sitting there, man. Sit over there, man. This is truth. Don't violate just... the sofa. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I ain't always with that jackhammer shit. Like, yeah, I need you to drill time my shit, man. Bro, bro. the elder. I, I smoke cigarettes. The elder <laughs> Holmes uh, said. He said she's reaching, so I don't know what you said that was reaching, but he also said hand jobs are overrated. Hell yeah. Reaching? I forget. I don't know. About, about the roadhead? I'm not reaching. That shit's dangerous. <laughs> Yo, no, I ain't gonna hold. I'll second that. That shit is dangerous. But if you, you get some good roadhead. Keep your weight off of the leg that hits gotta, the. What if his bro, I feel like it's. Angle? You gotta repel from the you ceiling. Should, you probably shouldn't do it. Nah. Uh. <laughs> You pro- if, if, if he it got to be highway. You got to be highway if important. If you have a stick, you should not be giving no head. There's too yeah. much going on. Yeah. It's too much going on. That's it. We're in the Unless you're on the highway. If you're on the highway, you're, you're on the like highway. You can stay in six. Like, yeah, yeah, at least you fifth. can put it in new. Uh, nah, what you call cruise control on the highway. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> me too. I was like, yo, hey. we try to make it easier for you. We I know what she, I know what she means. Trouble. Let's work with her. Let's, gotta, let's, gotta, let, let's find a solution. This, you gotta get the straps and repel. I know what she mean though, cause you be trying to focus <laughs> on it. You gotta hover over it. Nah, yeah, nothing. What if you put a, oh, no, 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 you put no, no, a no, no, no. on? It just, <laughs> 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 yeah. Wrap it up. They'll be safe. It's okay. We are trying to find solutions. Hell yeah, we're over here. We're, we are. We are really we being can, creative. We're, we're trying our hardest. We're being creative. We're being innovators. We're not going to retire real head today. We set the trends. <laughs> I try to tell you. Not today. We about to set a trend. <laughs> but we throwing hand jobs out of here. We get that. Hell yeah, we get that shit. To, yo, right, thank you. I'm okay with We got to get that shit the fuck up out of here. We don't like regular hand. Like we not drive. Hand jobs have to come with. Uh, something else. You have to follow the fellatio. Oh, you no, know, no. Hand jobs by themselves. No, that's, that's not weird. right. That ain't. It's not good. Yeah. Like, this is not a good You got to use your mouth with it, too. Why are you doing that? Mouth got to be, com- be mouth got to be it's equipped, too. Yeah. It's a partner. It's, it's a partnership. User combined. Yeah, what, yeah, you can't just be like this. You be like, hey, yo, bro, you're supposed to clap in. You're supposed to help me with this load. Hey, yo. Uh, we're not doing that. <laughs> Um, did y'all see the, the guy in New York, uh, the bodega worker who got, yeah. he, no, he actually stabbed the guy who was stepping to him. I mean, and what was he supposed to do? I think it was self-defense. Yo, I ain't got a hold. You ever been? What? Yo, that OG, let me say this. That OG, he been through some shit before. Uh-huh. Bro, Because he was real, cause he sat down, he was calm, he never made no reaction. He's an old school Puerto Rican, man. You uh-huh. looked at him, I know I came up with Ricans. That's one of them, them Ricans you leave alone. He he looked like I'm ready for this. I've been here before. He he pushed him down. He he never even flinched. He had that calm face. He stood up when he did stand up. I don't know how he got by and maneuvered him, but when he got his hand on that knife, he went straight for the body mm-hmm. and then went for the neck. That means I'm getting you out of here. Mm-hmm. He knew I'm getting you the fuck out of here. And that's you don't go and fuck with people for no reason. Mm-hmm. Over a bag of chips. That she yeah. didn't pay for. Another EBT situation. Her mm-hmm. EBT yeah. card didn't go through, mm-hmm. and then her daughter couldn't get chips, and the guy snatched the chips out of his hand. That was his job to stop people from stealing. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So Ooh. then your boyfriend comes in, and you go out there talk shit, and got, and, and then you fuck around. Now you got your boyfriend killed. Mm-hmm. And that? when I saw it, I say the boyfriend deserved everything he got. Thanks. It's fucked up that he got killed, but you can't just but go that messing man with people. To yeah. 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 Stop running. Yo, out. you. What's he supposed to do? Y'all been in New York? Y'all been, I mean, you've been, you been in New York, but I'm saying, like, you've been in one of those bodegas and how they really, like, talk to niggas? You can't go they in. Play. They be talking it's crazy. All in them there. dudes in, in the city of New York, you think all of them dudes behind them registers don't got some shit for yeah. you if you come in? Yeah, they used to be talking it's crazy. You come, Damn, I, I was you, about to say he's lucky he didn't have a gun, but he, he died. He died. Either way, Damn. he died. And. That's that goes for most any bodega in a big city right. or anybody else. Leave people alone because you never know what they're going through. Mm-hmm. I just saw a video yesterday I shared on our page of the girl went into the dollar store and was fucking with the dollar store uh, mm-hmm. clerk and wound up putting hands on her, beating her up, bang, bang, mm-hmm. and was fucking her up. Mm-hmm. While she got done hitting her, the girl got up. She went behind the register. She came out, bang, 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 blew her ass away right there in the dollar mm-hmm. store. 
mm-hmm. it was on camera. People need to learn they can't play. You can't like just that. be fucking with people because you having a bad day. Next. If if you if you are going to come at somebody, at least make sure you have an issue with them. There's, there's a lot of us dealing with trauma that we are taking out on the wrong people. Yep. Like and and that's what I saw in both situations. Like. There's nothing going on in a store that's worth dying over, period. I've, I've had bad interactions in restaurants, stores, bars, all kinds of shit. I ain't never felt like, you know what, I need to kill this person or I need to even, I, I just, at, at, at best, now, I mean, I'm also speaking from an a older mind now because, you know, when you're younger, you're in your 20s, yeah. you don't have control of your emotions yet. Mm-hmm. And we all know that. We've all done dumb shit in our 20s. But I'm saying, like, now, yeah, there's certain shit you gotta you gotta think through. Yeah. You have to think through before you do it because you run down on the wrong person. Now your life's over. Side note: He had a, a fake a designer T-shirt on. He had an Amiri T-shirt on. Yeah, That's the other thing that was Amiri. Shirt on, but you can't. Shirt on, but for the people who people. for the people who don't know what a Amiri is, it's definitely a designer shirt. That that Amiri T-shirt would have been close to four hundred dollars. There's no way you're in that store with a four hundred dollar t shirt on. And can't and buy some chips. You can't and you're fighting over chips. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be I like don't that. understand what people think they're gonna accomplish by it. Like, okay, so you don't have the money, your car got declined, you come yelling at what did you think that was gonna did you think that was gonna magically make money appear in your pocket? <laughs> are you, you or, what are you, did you think you were gonna accomplish? Or going mm-hmm. to the next store, you're still gonna get declined. Exactly. Like what what did you think was gonna happen? I saw a comment on my page today that said that um, when when we're in bad situations, we always tend to blame. Like, you no, know, what he was talking about specifically when when he was broke, basically, he was saying when when his landlord used to come with the eviction notice or, or some shit like that or with the cutoff notice, they would always get mad at the landlord. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, what's he supposed to do? Yeah, like, hey, you didn't pay me for that long. And that's kind of what this situation is. When you don't have money, you don't have the proper shit to pay, you was looking for just the hookup, or just, mm-hmm. then you react. Now you're mad at the wrong person when you should be mad at you because of your situation. Now, the only person that The only person that can get you out of your situation is you. You wasn't mad at that bodega worker. You was mm-hmm. mad that you couldn't afford those chips that day. And now your kids mm-hmm. looking at you like you a fucking clown. If that was his kid, I don't know, but I'm just saying. See, now your kids are looking at you like you weak. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> these these chips was twenty five cents. Dad, what's up? Yeah, you got you got a quarter. Twenty five cent chips, and none of y'all, neither one of y'all got any dough. You used to walk around in New York City with no dough. These are bozos. <laughs> 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 You're a bozo. My like, parents just said yeah. no. You just say no. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't I'm get sorry, no. I ain't get no explanation. And, no. and it wasn't even an I'm sorry. Like we we don't have the money. There was no like sweet gentle. Nope. Put it back. We don't have it. But we Kids live, nowadays are trying to play you, but you don't got the money. I ate at home though, so it was like. Oh, but we live in that. We it wasn't a thing. Oh, I couldn't have a, a lollipop. Oh well. We live in an entitled society now, where these kids now. The teachers can't yell at them because the parents are going in cussing teachers out. Coaches can't even coach the same way in school no more like they coached us. Like, we was just talking outside about the culture. Now, that was extreme, but they can't even come close to that. Now, they can't even yell at these kids because the parents are coming in. So now it's like everything that happens with these kids now, it's like automatically I'm going against whoever's against my kids. Mm -hmm. No, sometimes your kids is the fuck wrong. Yeah, like, they're wrong. Like, you need to tell them they're wrong, and you need to be on the side of the person who checked them for being Trying wrong. Trying to get a right. they didn't hurt your kid, or... Mm-hmm. I, I'm not saying they put their hands on your kids, all bets are off. Mm-hmm. But if they're checking your kid for being wrong, then why would you go against them? Because it takes a village. And, and that, no matter where you are, it takes a village to raise a kid. And and, and what they're doing is best for the kid anyway. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah. Uh, kids be... Some, some of y'all's kids are bad. Bad as shit. I remember though when we were young, it was in our in the neighborhood that I was in, like like Cabbage Hill area. If I was down the block and I was playing at my neighbor's house and I did something bad, that mom was had every right to whoop my ass, send me home, and my mom would whoop my ass again. Or- if my teacher called and said your child did such and such, I couldn't sit there and be like, Mom, no, that didn't happen. There was no believing. There was no yeah, second right. I'm whooping your ass. I'm whooping your ass again. Like, when yes. I grew up on Hillside, Ave, it's right off of Hazel, right by South Prince. That was, that was my neighborhood. Everybody on Hillside knew each other. Mm-hmm. 
we couldn't act up on that whole block. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. block no. That whole like we Somebody yeah we could not do you. nothing on that block. Yeah. There was no wilding on that block because your parents were finding out regardless. Mm-hmm. The teachers used and to it's be not slick. really like that now. Like I can't honestly, me and maybe it's because I'm just antisocial, but I've never ever lived on a block as an adult that my whole neighborhood knew each other. Nah. I just have it. It's not nah. the same. It's, it's not, not like, like that. It's not like that no more. Yeah. Nah. I ain't going front though. When I was on base, yeah, everybody everybody on our block knew each other. But when you was on base, it was a different kind of yeah, camaraderie. Yeah, mm-hmm. but, it, but these weren't people in my unit, though, either. These are just But they soldiers. were soldiers. Yeah. So there was a camaraderie there. Was, there there was mean? something there, yeah. But it was like, yeah, we knew everybody on that block because everybody was outside. Yeah, I mean, listen. I'd be fine I, to go back to that. Go It'll back to fine, the yeah. raising the, yeah. Mm-hmm. That'd yeah. be fine. I honestly think, I, I I honestly think they were too. I think that generation. I think they just didn't know. I think that's why that generation grew up so I, tough. I was, I was never like this. Yeah. Well, I was hit. For sure, I, for sure. I, I, nah, my parents gave me more. Yeah, we got ass whoopers. Oh, yeah, we got ass whoopers. I, I, I was confused, and then I got older and was like, yeah, I had every single one of them coming. Exactly. Oh, yeah, I was wild. Everything, I everything, had every single everything one of them that coming. I've ever got beat for, I probably would have put hands on my kids for. Yeah. Like, I, I'd never got a beat and I didn't deserve, for sure, for sure. No, yeah, I did. No, the I haircut, mean, you could have let me. I didn't have to get beat for cutting my hair. Uh, that could have been that could have been a lecture. I remember when I was stealing when I was in suspended. Sixth grade, when yeah, I was in yeah. sixth grade, my teacher, my sixth grade teacher, Miss Riley, she wrote on a report card, draws beautiful graffiti on his desk. Like, why did you have to add that? You didn't have to add that. Yeah, yeah. You know you didn't have to add that. Because my dad caught the you're drawing on your desk? Like really? Oh, you, we didn't have to go there. I think part yeah. of it you just you just got me barked on. <laughs> like with what with what Yaz is saying, like I think part of that too though is just the things we our generation has experienced. We lived through Columbine, 9-11, yeah. recessions, wars, like even multiple before that wars. when they bombed like our generations lived through a whole lot of shit. When they bombed the move buildings a lot back of shit. in the day yeah. in Philly. And, yeah. Uh, Branch Davidians, they ran up on them. Yep. Like, Speaking of all these, like these crazy like we shit, caught, we we caught the end of the mob. Mm-hmm. Do y'all think as crazy as shit is getting? Because we have lived through all of this shit. It seems like the media is not able to keep up with the mass shooting. Like, <laughs> like now, it seems like, especially after the pandemic, and we came out the pandemic where everything was explosive and everything that came across the news, we was outside. We was, mm-hmm. it was a big deal. And now that we're back outside. It seems like these mass shootings and these uh, unarmed these unarmed citizens being killed by police, they just don't move the needle no more. Nobody gives a shit no more. Mm-hmm. And it just seems like this is about to just become our reality. I mean, we have we have new gun laws that were passed, but of course we're not going to see the, the the return on. And we'll see what the new gun laws. But hmm. we'll see. The the reality is. The reality is we're literally the only country that has a mass shooting issue and a, yes. and a unarmed citizen being killed. Like, this doesn't happen in other places. Yeah. As bad as, like, we are better, and, and <clears throat> let's be clear, too, because we're not just going to keep acting like this is the, the great hope of all places now because we right. know it's not. it's not. But it's better than a lot of places. Mm-hmm. And, and still that it's better than a lot of places, it still is worse than a lot of places too and we just um yeah it's i don't know i don't even know what to say no more because when they come across the screen we talked about a man shooting two weeks in a row with mm-hmm. last month and i was exhausted like what are we even talking about no more right. this shit ain't gonna stop this is in a new let's cycle. just get used to it like, this is in a new what cycle are we discussing? every week but now. i feel like that's what i feel like that's what a lot of politicians want us to do is just get used to it so that we stop having a conversation about gun control no. we stop trying to push forward with things they want us to become complacent they want us to just continue to look the other way and act like it's not a problem half of these politicians are funded by the nra right 
Yeah, them, yeah. They don't want to oh, have shit. a conversation. They don't care that there's hundreds of people dying every day to gun violence. They don't give a shit because it doesn't affect their family. Right. It doesn't affect their wealthy neighborhood. It doesn't affect, affect the, their job in any way, shape, or form because they've got security everywhere. they got Capital City Police. And the, and the other thing with, with it now is that even if they do make these these gun laws stricter and there's first off there's a lot of there's a lot of shit already out there mm-hmm. and now people are actually making all these ghost guns now we have mm-hmm. other technology mm-hmm. that uh, yeah. so we can printing. actually create guns mm-hmm. at home like so it's like what are we doing yeah like Who even made that there's no there's no <laughs> saving people, america man. when it comes to violence we're like no. th- we're not getting better we just have to do de- it's, it's going we to were made on it violence we were made on it man we started, made on violence we started like, with who, violence who, who, who we're gonna you, end with violence over here first you gotta bring the, you gotta bring the army over here first to see what's over here to clear everything out mm-hmm. you gotta bring your whatever your, they had whatever. to come for war yeah, they had to yeah. come yeah that's why indians bought people or the natives bought peace and they bought violence mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and took everything over they ain't just come they knew what they were doing. They ain't just send the they ain't send no uh non violent people over yeah. here. The Puritans yeah. to come over here and they uh, you know what I'm saying? They, they didn't go down it never went down like that. They went over savages. Came over here. <laughs> raped and plundered. Yup. And it's still the same way. They just uh there's a there's a better way they, they masked it. You know, they masked everything they started off doing wrong, it's mm-hmm. it's just it looks they they tied a bow on it now. It looks cute now, mm-hmm. but and they try to rebrand it. Yeah, I don't even know. Like I put this topic on here, I don't even know. There's not even a moral or a solution. I just wanted to put this on there to bring awareness that we're fucked. It's a statement. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, we're fucked. I've been like, telling y'all for bubbling. months. This is the thing, though. I think I think we're getting to a point. Every country has revolutions. They usually come about every two hundred or so years. When you look at countries over in Europe, every two hundred like people will riot in the streets and they will do what they have to do to bring back a government that they are okay with. Britain right now, they got tired of the lies and the scandal from their prime minister. Those people stood up and said, mm-hmm. Get the fuck out. But America and they had the voice. America did it so brilliantly on the build up that that's never gonna happen here. Because they they've divided us so far oh, yeah. with three things politics, religion, and race. Mm-hmm. And because those things, those three things divide this country so much, will never come together as one to to make things like. Because there's always a right and left when we're arguing. Mm-hmm. Everybody's so passionate about right and left, and we can't just think about right and wrong. Mm-hmm. Fuck right and, and then, left. And not, Let's think about right and wrong. And it, That's and it, all, it is more than right and left. It's far right and far left. Yeah, now and, everything. And both sides. Both and, sides are and, so and, far extreme that there's not even a, a middle ground no anymore. Middle. Like, because everybody's super out here now. It's either we're sensitive about everything or it's y'all are pussies and let's do, like, it, it's it's yeah. it's crazy. It's insane. But I think, and I think majority of it is our generation. We are that middle ground. We are those those people that... I don't even think it's our generation. I think it's the one coming up. The, our kid, like... The twenty somethings, the t- like those the are the ones coming up that now. It's the worst it's ever ground. been. You know what the middle ground that. is? Our generation has a lot of. Um, I think it started of the old ways. I, I, yeah, but it has that balance because we grew up both with and without technology. Right. So there's more of a balance in our generation. We but, had yeah. discipline. We had rules. We knew what it was. We're to, like the bridge. Exactly. Yeah, we're the bridge. And we're coming to an age where we are actually going to be the ones beginning to get into those positions of powers. All of those people that are in power right now are going to retire. Most of them are in their 70s. And then whose turn is it going to be to take over? It's going to be ours and the one a little bit ahead of us. Mm-hmm. The kids that were born in the 70s and stuff. It's going you know, to be that and we'll be able to make changes. You know what the middle ground is? The hip-hop generation. That would be us. Mm-hmm. If if hip-hop would get more politically, politically aware and really push that... They don't, that they, is the genre, and because it's, it's they, a culture. The powers that be don't allow that, though. I mean, no, they can that, put it out, keep, but you got to look for it. Yeah, they won't ever put it, it in so the you gotta look for it now. They will never. There will never be another like self destruction, Karen. Nah. Well, like, or even uh, uh, what's the what was the West Coast joint? We're all in the same. We're game. all in the same game. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> what was the comment? Oh. 
the way that they was able to kill the natives is because they took their weapons. That's true. I mean, they had spears, you know, but they were a peaceful people as well. They, they knew how to defend guns. themselves. They bore spears they and they bore guns. guns. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they were defending themselves. That they wasn't. Were, yeah, that they wasn't. They were just outnumbered and outarmed completely. Uh, talking about this country right now really depresses me. <laughs> because yeah, it brought me down. I lose hope, though. I don't want people to become complacent. I don't want everybody to go, oh, well, all right, well, this is just what it is, and accept it. The second we do that, we are fucked because it's just going to get worse. It's not going to end with guns. They're going to take rights. They're going to take liberties, yeah. and it's a downward spiral. They already took rights complacent. away. You know oh, what? Yeah. So, yeah, you did. You know what's so disheartening to me is that I remember when we was locked down and everything was happening, and I was out um, at all the protests. I was traveling, going to all these different protests. I was sitting with politicians. I was doing all this shit, and there was Ohez telling me, like, I like your spunk, but shit is never going to change. Like, they were just feeding negativity into wow. me. And, and that don't help. And I was just like, nah, this is different. Like, the George Floyd shit happened. Like, it's different. The, the country standing up. And then nothing happened. And now I keep seeing the same shit over and over again. And I see these younger people coming up under me, these 20-somethings that we, that we all work with. And they, they have so much fire. And they're telling me, yes, we're going to change the world. And I don't want to speak negativity into them mm -hmm. because... I had the wind taken out of my sails. Like, yeah. when I had these old heads telling me, y'all ain't gonna change it, this is how it's set up. And then I was so gung-ho, like, nah, this is the time, and then nothing changed. I'm still like, so now I'm like, and I don't, I'm not saying I'm quitting, I'm saying I'm not as enthusiastic as I once was. But I think that's because they, they did exactly that. They became complacent. They hit a point where they were like, oh, fuck it, that's just the way it is. And that's it's just the way the world is. And it, they let it spiral right. out and of control. It, and it's always yeah. like like they're doing him, they're doing to everybody. Mm -hmm. It's nothing, it's not, oh, you don't, what are you, what are you doing? It's not going to change. No, you can't do That's that. a part of the process, though. Even if you're not active, you got to support the next, the next thing. Because sometimes... What you're trying to do isn't going to take it all the way there. You got to you gotta hand that baton over. Exactly. And I think we've seen a difference, too, especially in the past couple of years, especially since George Floyd, where there is more people coming together. You're seeing more people of different walks of life, of different things, saying right is right and wrong is wrong and this was wrong and right. we're going to stand together. And that's what we need to see more of. People, I feel like the media is purposely drowning us with these stories so that it becomes exactly that and we stop fighting hmm. and we stop talking back and we just sit here and go all right that's just what it is let me keep my mouth shut yeah, no, i was on I'm orange i was on a 300 block of orange today and you know there's some houses there's some old nice big houses on that block mm -hmm. and you know we don't live there these people really them joints ain't going for, up for sale until them people pass away and they've been there for you never know how long they've been there but to see Black Lives Matter joints in front of a couple houses. I was mm -hmm. like, Yeah, for sure. I mean, we have some allies, and that that's what's up. Like Lancaster City is very um, diverse and very uh, yeah inclusive. Yeah, Lancaster County not so much. Mm -hmm. No. Not like so much. It's like, <laughs> like that everywhere, though. You go to Pittsburgh, as soon as you get into the suburbs, it's like that. You go to New York, go into the suburbs, and it is the same thing. Like, Democrats focus in the city. You get out beyond that, it's Republicans, and you get a different mindset. We have a, yeah. we have a special demographic that everybody doesn't have. Yeah. Like, when I left home, like, I grew up with black, white, That's Puerto the thing. Rican. That's the one thing I uh, love. Vietnamese, uh, the, you, know, uh, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I've dealt with them. I dealt with them growing up. Yeah. So when I left home and people was like, I ain't never been around black people. I was like, really? How? That's, How? that's the How one thing. I, I ain't never been around white people. Like that. That's the one thing I loved about growing up in Lancaster City, especially once we got to McCaskey. McCaskey always felt like, I didn't, like I'm, I'm never uncomfortable around any walk of life because there was everything we at had our everything, school. Everything, yeah. Everything, it was a melting pot. And it wasn't even clicked up by race. It was. We used to get along back then. We got along. Yeah, it, it was, huh? Oh, we got a comment. Yeah. <laughs> when they take our guns, that's it done for us all. They ain't never taking them guns. <coughs> huh?
instead of making moral children penalize those that may not be moral by the same token, when it comes to firing a gun. You know, to make it so clearly that says you are poor with a weapon and you are not licensed to carry it. But it, but it kind of, so, so hold up, the, the question was why, um, why do we always focus on the, the gun laws that are uh, coming for law-abiding gun holders other than... Uh, yeah. As opposed to Opposed punishing. to punishing those who are illegally doing it. And to that, I'll say it kind of already is just because most of these mass shootings are from legal gun holders. Legal gun holders, yeah. Like, the the people in the hoods in all of the inner cities that have guns illegally are getting punished. They've always been getting punished. So I think... Yeah, when, when did I don't we think, get punished? Like, like, criminal the, elements. Yeah, 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 I know people like that Like, the criminals hit. that are doing shit illegally, they get punished. Mm -hmm. Those, they just, they're just not on the forefront of the argument. They're not on the forefront of the discussion. Like, they don't make the CNN, they make the local news. And, and they slash, don't make the CNN, those are the, the NBCs, slash, the Foxes, that's not, they don't. That's those, not something they can agree yeah, about. Yeah, that's those 3 a.m. arguments about the shorty that she's wanted the bag at the club, and I let off five shots at my man's because he, he took shorty home or whatever. Those are the little arguments. Like but mass shooting from the legal gun owners of these Calibans, these people running up, dumping down on people. In the hood. Most of the people that get killed in the hood they're get killed with illegal weapons. Yeah. Illegal, right? And they usually go to jail unless they're lucky. Yeah, not lucky, but, you know, like if they get away, they get away. But that that's usually where the illegal gun holders. These mass shootings. Are legal gun holders. It's, it's usually they got it from their parents or they went to the store mm -hmm. and they bought it. Mm -hmm. Or their friends. Like we rarely it. hear they were keeping it, it was an illegal trip. gun yeah. when it's the. I think the FBI watching is a is, it it's it, it sounds powerful, yeah. But there's millions of people in this country, and there's so many people that they're watching. And so and, when they're watching somebody, it's gonna take a lot to really folk like for them to home in on one. I mean, like, and being on a watch and, list, it just basically it, it's not like they're actually watching you. It just means that you're flagged in the system. So if you get pulled over or arrested for something at some point in time in the future, you're popping up in that red flag system. It's not that they're physically tapping yeah. your phones and watching you. They're watching your moments. pages, they're watching your, your social pages. media. Yeah. But that's where those common sense gun laws of for law abiding gun owners are going to come into play. Because everybody. Mm -hmm. What you're going to have is mental health checks. If, if I have good. to take, if I have to have a permit for six months and take a class and take a test before I can get my driver's license because that is deemed to be a weapon that I need to be responsible with, then those same things should apply to guns. I think everybody should own a gun. I think everybody should have the right to own a gun. Don't, but I also think that you need to be intelligent enough, responsible enough, and not batshit crazy with, to own one. Yeah, yeah. If you do those checks, make it make people have to go through a course, have to do a gun safety class, have I'm, to do yeah. so many hours at the range. Is that and too, I'm, I'm that's not too much? No, and it's not. That should be the that should that's be the basis. Common, that's that should common be the, sense and, gun law. And I'm not a gun. I'm a gun owner. We have gun I, I'm not. A, <laughs> I'm not. But I'm not. I. I am. I am. I am not opposed to being a gun owner. What I will say is, I don't feel there's a reason to be a machine gun holder. Like yeah, assault never, rifle. Like, there's never a reason. Like to why do you need that? To kill people. Right. That's it. That's not for hunting. That's not right. for self protection. You know, none of that. But however. There was a Republican in Georgia over the weekend that released a new TV ad. He is a, a Republican running for governor. He is a black man that begins to talk about how important it is that we maintain our AK-47s and our AR-15s. As he walked out of a church and mowed down a bunch of liberal Democrats Oh, yeah, hoods, I did see that. And That's he mowed right. down the KKK I in his political ad that. and was like, you never know when you're going to need an AR. Right. Sometimes you do need it. <laughs> that oh was my God. Ad. Wow. Like, and who is this? It's a Republican. Yeah. It was a Republican. Yeah. Politician? Politician yeah. that's he's running trying for to office. Get, he's trying to get uh, elected. Mm -hmm. He's trying to run for governor. Speaking of politicians doing crazy shit, 
I want to, I want to, I want to be clear. If I was in Rhode Island, <laughs> <laughs> if you want to twerk for votes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know who you thought was gonna vote for you. <laughs> yeah, yo, I saw this. I was like, nah, this is click. I know it There's has no been clicky. way. Yeah, I didn't even look too into all She really did that shit. But you know what? I don't. I'm not surprised with shit in 2022. I'm. Yeah. Who's in charge of your marketing? Who I'm getting old. I'm like, yo, I'm this is crazy. We're laughing. We're we're Kiki Kia. Who thought it was a good? I bet she can win. We saw unconventional yeah. shit now. She Trump was president. Hold on, hold on. Trump was president. That's what yeah, I'm saying. Exactly. Wow. Donald Trump came off the bench and said, I'm going to be the president. We all laughed. Everybody, the country laughed at him at first mm. until he won. But he and then he, you think this woman can't twerk? Running. If she was in Atlanta, she would have won by a <laughs> mile. Like, yeah. I don't know how she's going to do in like, Rhode Island. Like, if she was okay. in Georgia, she'd win. 100%. For people, vote. <laughs> for people that don't actually, people that don't actually pay attention to politics, that would be like, oh, yeah, I want her because of that. They're not registered to vote anyway. And hey, let me be right. clear. She wasn't just twerking. They don't give a shit she about had, politics. She had the thong bikini oh, yeah. on. Bro. Yeah. It's one thing to twerk in your jeans. She had the thong bikini Upside on. Upside down. Yo, if the whole hood of Rhode I don't know what hood is in Rhode Island, but if the Wait whole hood don't come out, be already tricking. that would be like dropping ones on her. Vote yeah, for her. Down. Give her your <laughs> vote. That's the $1 bills at the club. Vote for Tierra Mack. What's her name? Tierra Mack, right? That's a- and she's already a senator. She's already yeah. re-elect, re-elect her. But it's the same Joe thing. Biden already won't been twerk. Elected. I bet he won't twerk for votes. Yeah, he will. <laughs> yeah, he will. <laughs> Like, I, like you know what? He will. I almost need. He will twerk for votes. I mean, I need the backstory. Yo, I'm seeing it, bro. The, I need the backstory. Y'all thought it was a joke. Video. Remember they had on the had um, the brackets. It, it was like it was, Donald Trump. Wow. This dick. <laughs> Some other votes they had on the drink. Y'all think if I, elections are now a joke? They're a joke now. Yo, yeah. but the shorty. Though, Megan the Stallion's running. She's saying, twerking. Yeah, oh, that's word. Exactly click. what you're saying. Exactly click, what click, you're click, 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 click. That would take that as a legitimate political. I promise position. you, she could, I will not. The, 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 it's not the, about that. It's about her election? winning. When's it's her about her getting election? the job done. 20, what presidential November. or the next? When is she up for November? November, November. is this year's election. November. I promise you, DC. Fucking Marion Barry got caught on camera smoking, smoking crack, crack with a prostitute, right? and, and they have reelected him a couple more times. That was a different time. It was. The yes, the yes it was. It was the eighties. Wow, do that for Queen's Table. Yeah. Uh, let me tell Save you this: the only, way, the only way I'm voting for Joe Biden again is if Kamala gets up there and twerks. That's that's wow. that's the only way he gets yeah. my vote again. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. I, I low key want to see that. <laughs> I want to see Hi, it. Kamala. I'm here for it. Miss you. No, I, I'm playing. I, I do not want to see Kamala Harris twerk. I, but what I'm saying is, That's one, Joe Biden's not getting my vote again. Two, this woman's going to win. I promise you that. Yeah. Watch. She's bets. going to win. Let's take bets. I got a hundo. She's going to win. I got a hundo in it. Put your money up. I promise you, this is 2022. Anybody want to bet me, she's winning in November. Hey, I bet you 150 she will. I'm going to revisit this the in November. The whole hood is coming out, and they're voting for her because they're going to remember her. <laughs> they're going to remember her as the woman that was twerking on the handstand. With I know what I said. She didn't have a body. She had a body order. Hmm. You think the hood... We don't remember the senators who don't make us remember that. Name our senators from PA. So is she going to keep Name, uh, don't name do that. anybody on I this panel. Not. Anybody on this, done, anybody on this panel. Who is our senators? Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that, bro. Don't do that, bro. God. Aaron Keen. <laughs> you know who they like, are? Like state senators or federal? The, you know no, the, the ones that go to D.C. Is that what, that's what she was, right? No, no she's, no, a, she's state a state senator. senator. She's yeah. Okay, so what's, who are our state senators? I don't know. The guys that send me emails. Eddie Moran. Sterla. <laughs> Mike Sterla. It's Mike Sterla. This guy's to, to no, wait, he's a representative, right? He's a, that don't, that's not a senator. The guys that send me emails. Yeah, Stern is a representative. That's who it is. I know he's from our area, and then there's Toomey, but isn't Toomey federal? I don't no. know, but the fact that we have to think of it means they are not Tierra Mac. <laughs> which means <laughs> she <laughs> is going to win. She's from another like state. Like I said. They do nothing. No, because there's too many 
registered voters in that area that actually pay attention. You to know what Toomey and Sterling can't do? They can't twerk on a handstand. Wow. I, I bet they can't do that. That's what that song was called on BET Uncut. Uh, it was like twerking on a handstand. I was trying to think uh, what was the other one that was next if to you think that's not some drill. memorable shit, that is future. That's but the future. Here's my question. Here's my question. <clears throat> what are her politics? I mean, Who gives a fuck? She already won. <laughs> This is a Who gives a fuck? This is a, this is a, we'll, we'll figure that out later. We, we know. Listen. What you know her what? politics is? I want to expand our prison system. Wow. I wanna. I wanna. Like, what if her? What if her policies are horrible? What if she wants to do an office is trash and all you care about is because she? Yo, know, all we've I had mean, is she, trash for the past like six so, years. So niggas need to not get locked up. Everybody, go go vote, vote Stacey Abrams. Go go vote Who? order from California. Who's that? Mm -hmm. They got truck videos like a fun only. Fans? Only fans? No, we don't. I don't want to see Stacey. I don't. I do not. What? Yo, no, no disrespect. Hurts. I love Stacey Abrams. Shout out to you, Queen. Love her. I do not want to see her twerking on a handstand. One, not wow. her. Who her said office. that? This guy. Oh, <laughs> he shot out. Well, me out to Chassis. He shot out. We're on this. We're talking huh? about that. I mean, she's twerking. <laughs> it was I need to. I want to remember my senators' names. You want me to remember your name? Twerk. Twerk on a handstand on a thong wow, in the beach. Wow, wow, wow. Yep. <laughs> I think we can come up with some better yep. options. Yep. And, um, That's what we got to do. See but you know what? Shout out to Tierra and back. Mm -hmm. I think you got big things happening for you. Stop thinking about it. You're you you about to say you got big booty it's popping a, things. Is that her name? I don't want to keep fucking her name. I you think it's Tierra and Mac. The voluptuous big booty know. things happening for you in your future. People fear what they don't understand. Hate what they can't conquer. Oh yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Cuz it might be strange here's, to me. Here's the other thing. She might be twerking on a handstand, but she might be brilliant. I'm yeah. Like, like, like she, said, how she was twerking on a handstand was brilliant. We don't, we don't, we don't live in Rhode that. Island and she The way she was twerking was brilliant. Know, right? But if you look her up, we got to Google. Now we, we now we in. now we going to go down a rabbit hole. Who is this twerking chick? Now if we find out she was valedictorian for Harvard, and first in her class in law school, and we find out that she has a, a brilliant future, and we are and we agree with all her policies. Now what? If Do we not vote case, for her because she's twerking on handstand? Because I think come up with a better marketing. Twerking, 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 on, twerking, on, twerking, twerking on a handstand. What would you have is, recommended? No, no. Let me Boy, C-SPAN commercial. Twerking on a handstand is a supreme talent, and it needs to be admired. Wow. Here we admired. Wow. We admired, we admired Barack we for his jump shot. His left handed jump wow. shot. Wow. We didn't elect Work. to office we, because of it. We love Bill Clinton because he played the saxophone. I love Bill nah. Clinton because he could twerk on a handstand. Nah. We love Bill Clinton because he was getting slop on the clock. You know what I mean? He was getting neck on the clock. <laughs> my doing? guy. That's my what type of guy. Best dry hand job ever. Wow. Okay. Uh, here we go. Now we got to give her a hand. I love how we revisit that one. <laughs> yeah, she might not get voted for because of that. Tierra Mac. I'll tear a Mac that ass She's up. already the state senator. Like, she had a mental breakdown. She definitely did. What? I think she won. I give us a good. You already won. I don't say maybe, that was a mental what? breakdown at all. Maybe. I say that was. I say. I was I, a booty breakdown. Who runs the entertainment down. company? I tell you, that was a brilliant marketing. Listen, that was one hundred percent. Listen, listen politics, how we so. look at it. Nah, you, you don't know that yet. Trump no, no, no. did. You listen, don't know that yet. And, and people are taking the rock serious. Like now, you only got to be popular to and and that. Is going to make her more popular than everybody in New England. Because everybody well, saw it. Sake, we got Dr. Oz running in Pennsylvania this year. Oh, yeah. That's well, right. it's crazy. He quit the show. He's a Republican. That, he, but, oh, he's never going to make it. Yeah, he's a Republican. He's so on PA, he's Republicans gonna, hate him. Yeah, he's like, going to have a tough time. And, yeah, Dr. he's not, not going to do anything. I didn't even know he was from PA until he and ran. You know not. what? Speaking of, speaking of Dr. Oh, Oz, he's not he's from, from here? No, he's not from here. All you have to do to run for Senate in a state have is you have to have a primary residency where you spend at least 30% of your time for two years, hmm. and you can run in that state. You don't have to be from that state. He's not from here. He picked an area that he thought was going to be easiest for him to win because we have a high Republican population in Pennsylvania. Republicans don't even like you. You're not going to win. That's because he's not a Republican. Like, I, I, I know that's what he's running as, but I followed Dr. Oz. Like, I've watched a lot of his shit, and, and it surprised me when I found out he was Republican because it just – he never even – like I've seen this guy on Oprah. I've seen him on The Breakfast Club. Like he, he appeals to the uh, the progressive thinker. So 
That's why Republicans don't like him. But then that's probably just a but game But you know, itself, just because he's he Republican be doesn't he mean he's, he's, he's down with he's all that. He's just playing the part. I mean? He's playing like, uh, he's what's talking. the guy's name, the Man- Mansion? Uh, he's, that's who he's doing, because he's a, he's clearly a a, a fake. Uh, J- Joe Manchin. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Joe Manchin, is, yeah, he's, he's a fake. He's he's hiding, he's, he's, he's perpetrating a Democrat. He's clearly, <laughs> clearly a Clearly Republican. a Republican. <laughs> but shout out to Tierra Mac. <laughs> yeah, he went back to see her back. If I was in Rhode Island, you'd have my vote. I don't know what yeah. my can, I don't know what my my, my co-host. She, is. she can't lose. <laughs> nope. every, every, everybody's seen it. Yeah, I'm in there. Everybody's seen it all over. She, she might have just started OnlyFans. Did, you, bank, did like, you ever think? Did done. you ever think of it this Get way? Out of politics. She's so far ahead in points that she could afford to do that. No, is she though? She already won. I feel like it, no, she didn't, she's up for re-election. They have re-election, she's, so she's already yeah. been elected. We haven't talked about a senator from New England since. Kennedy died since the uh, yeah. the last what's the the not the joke the, the last Kennedy the senator right. that just, the one that's yeah. in right now it doesn't even matter I don't know I'm talking about the, we the, know who she Ted is Ted Kennedy see we can't even remember he, we yeah. got a stutter yeah. we, we talk just, about Tierra Mac though uh-huh. she the future of New England politics yeah she's future <laughs> I mean, that, yes, I think everything I seen was the right reason. Yes. Down a rabbit hole in Google. Word. I, um, I everything I seen was the right reason. Um, I'll tell you that much. One thing that um, is close to home for this show is that we was on air uh, four years ago now. I think three, four years ago. We was actually on air when Nipsey Hussle got shot, um, and we was recording the show, and it was crazy. And the killer of Nipsey Hussle, Eric Holder, was. Uh, he, found guilty this week. I don't think that's a surprise to any of us. It was on camera. On camera, witnesses. So, uh, none of us really have any kind of remorse for him. We just wanted to report that. If (laughs) anybody who didn't know. Fuck that nigga. I don't think he's going to make it long. Sleep easy, Nipsey. They posted a picture of him with a black eye and his face all. I mean, that could have been from the CEOs, though. Like, somebody's been checking him. He's not going to make it. Rest in peace to uh, Nipsey Hussle. He was definitely way, way uh, ahead of his time with his generation because he was on that entrepreneurship. He was doing something different in the neighborhood. Yeah. And um, also, Brittany Griner pleaded guilty in a Russian court uh, this, this week, so we'll see what happens with her. She looking at 10. Um, what, what I've heard, like, just reading and, and seeing interviews, Russia, like, 93% of their cases to go to court. Uh, they're found guilty, so it's not like here, like there you're guilty until proven mm-hmm. innocent. Where here it's just supposed to be innocent it's until. Um, I'm sorry, that is not accurate. <laughs> alleged, alleged, here. alleged. No, no, no it's here? not accurate here. But but you know that's what, what it's supposed to say. You know what our be. government's conviction rate is? What? Ninety-eight percent. Oh, the feds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The Ru- this is Russian court. Period. Like their yeah, state, like, their state all level they court. Have is feds. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. All the yeah. So everybody's everybody who goes to court usually goes to jail in Russia. Yeah. Here, that's not so much the same. Unless, like the fe- unless you're going to the feds. If if you're doing fed shit, then it's, it's you're probably high. guilty anyway. You're probably guilty, yeah. bro. Um, Sorry for ya. But <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> Brittany Griner, they say she's facing up to ten years for a damn cartridge. Come on, man. That's, that's crazy. out of control. I want to know that's how crazy. much she actually had in there. Like, was it just some residue? You know, was it something like that? Hmm. Well, you can hear me. Oh, my bad. What are you doing? Oh, she can hear me. I'm like, fuck with my tooth. My oh. bad. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. She's like, stop, yeah. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's but I want to I wanna know, like, how much was there? Because they didn't charge her with just, like, possession. They charged her with trafficking. She had a few cartridges, but exactly. she was leaving the country. But they're, that can't they're be. Carts, they're they're carts, though. Than, like, a couple grams. No, it, it yeah. wasn't. It was. I think it was no more than like a quarter worth of oils, like the oil. Yeah, the, like, but it um, can't be much. she was leaving the country, so mm-hmm. that's all the matter. Move right. difference, bro. You le- it with an intent to sell and just you don't know that. America. Yeah. America. That's Russian law is different. Everybody in America is like, oh, she only had this, she only had that, because weed over here ain't shit. Mm-hmm. Over in other countries, it ain't like that. Yeah. So she, if you leave in the country with shit that you ain't supposed to leave with, it's illegal. It's now you in trouble, and I don't, I, I want Brittany Griner to come home, but it's, you gotta you gotta, gotta know how you move. move. It's stacked against her though, cause one she's black, she's gay, and, she's and they don't like that over there. They don't like that, and she don't speak English. She's a foreigner. I, jail over there gotta be hell. Jail in any country where you're a foreigner, yeah. Russian jails are Russian jails are hard. They're rough. 
like the when the communication barrier is crazy, like mm-hmm. I, I, jail is ter- terrible anyway. Yeah. But yeah, um, you know, we'll see what ha- what goes on with Brittany. Hopefully, Dryer. she comes home My soon. Man. By the I end, of, let's get her home by the end of the year. Send Jesse over there. Jesse, yo, what's up with you, man? That, uh, <laughs> guy, he been home. I'm hearing that they're working. That the government is is talking about. But you know what? Things, you so, know, you so, know what she like. I said they want they want an international arms dealer released yeah. from our prisons in exchange for her. Like she's just leverage. She's a pawn. which is smart yeah. for Russia. Because just do it. Russia wants back somebody who, isn't gonna hand who that means something on their on their their level of where they're at in the like. They want back one of their important people they because Brittany get some guns for them for their war. because Brittany Griner is is high profile now mm-hmm. that's why they were trying to keep it low like in the beginning the the yeah, nba the yeah, wnba they were told not to even speak about it because they didn't want her to seem high profile so they could get her back with no big issue mm-hmm. but then the nba like she's Your been wife, over there for months now wife. Wasn't it leak it or something when it came out well no it like it came out like when, when it happened it came out because because the wife told everybody but it they weren't reporting but that. they weren't nobody was really talking about it and then uh, Lisa Leslie spoke, and she was like, they told us not to speak about it. Like, she said this on national TV during the All-Star break, the, the NBA All-Star break. And she was like, we, you know, we just want Britney home. They told us not to speak about it because they don't want to make it seem too high profile. Mm-hmm. And then everybody started talking about it. And then Russia was like, well, okay, we want this back. So they know she means a lot because she's high profile she because is. she's been balling over America don't want to look crazy if anything yeah. happens to Brittany Griner America don't want that L oh, they don't want to take but they also don't want to give back no arms she's dealer been, she's that, been like seasons in Russia though for years she's been she's doing a it very yeah. high profile yeah. celebrity they know who she over is. there they they are well aware of who of who she was the second she walked into that airport and some. and the, the the sad part is she she might be more famous over there than she is here because yeah, yeah. female they, basketball they, players here they, they, are second like they, they and I'm not they, saying they're, they're like C level like B level and, like B-level. B-level. The, she, and I hope her that stats and, are damn near identical to LeBron's and she makes two hundred thousand dollars a year yeah, compared not to his paid. like twenty some million dollars they go and do these overseas jobs so that they can they actually have make money yeah. the same as at the level she makes like nine million dollars a year during that season of course. Because people were like, oh, why was she there? To make some she fucking money because this basketball. this country doesn't respect our female athletes the way they should. Mm-hmm. I know, uh, and, and I'm glad that the uh, the U.S. women's soccer team's getting paid as much as the men now. Cause and look how long they had. They had to fight You got to pay that. the champions. You know what I mean? You can't, you can't pay. Just because they're women. Yeah, you got to yeah, pay. Yeah, yeah. Equal pay. Thank you. Now, if the men win, pay them. But they don't win. They, don't, they ain't making it past whatever. Tuck. <laughs> The women stay in the in the hunt. Facts. Yeah, we hope Brittany comes back. Um, and oh yeah, shit! I didn't even tell everybody. Listen, next Saturday, this Saturday, this Damn, coming we Saturday, out. we didn't even talk about it in the beginning. Hey, we're hey, tripping. Plug. Uh, July sixteenth, which is this Saturday, Zotropolis. We got our third room of rhyme. We got. Our family, Thundercat, will be the host, and we got a, yep. a, a great lineup of poets. We got we got a poet from Philly. We got a poet from Beemore. We got a poet from Reading, York. So we outside. Um, of course, we got people from like We got Naibi uh, singing. It's gonna be you know DJ Lord and Mercy's on the ones and twos. Make sure you get it. For those who don't know, oh, Rumor mercy. Rhyme is spoken word poetry infused with live art. It's going to be a really, really great time. It's my favorite event that we do. Yeah, I, I love, love Rumor Rhyme. I love Rumor Rhyme. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be dope. It's going to be dope. So make sure you pull up, bring your date. Don't bring your side chick because we don't want no drama. Um, bring a friend. Or come just by say yourself. It's a <laughs> yo, hey yo. Wow. Um, Anybody in our age group not be to bring in no nineteen year olds. On, what do we got on the um August the fifth? August fifth. Yo, August we're 5th. back again. We are in YC. Uh, shout out to York, PA. We we will be at the Bond Building August fifth, which is a Friday, first Friday. Everybody come out. The city should be booming. Uh, we bringing we bringing new street laughs to to York. We uh, did. Kansy will be hosting along with Hollywood Bonnie. We got five of our heavy hitters coming with us. Uh, Modern Jo's coming to perform. Yo, it's gonna be really really crazy. Make sure you get your tickets at uh, the Parliament. That's uh, put the. I don't want to fuck up the website. The link will be in the comments. And, um, um, what do we got on the sixth? We got something on the August sixth. 
in the awards show. Oh, oh yeah, uh, shit. The Black and Latino, uh, the, yeah. the, black and Latino the Black and Latino of Excellence Latino. Awards. Yes, sir, we up there. Uh, listen, the Black and Latino of Excellence Awards. Shout out, baby voting. girl right there, Queen's I, I, Table. I think the voting has stopped, but Queen's Table was up for best podcast. Shout out to yeah. Queen's yeah. Table. Big ass. Um, Voting okay, I said a year. If voting isn't done, make sure you go vote for us and for you, Street Laughs. Yeah. Laughs, which is listed Event as TCP Laughs year. on the thing, mm-hmm. but because we used to be that. We're you, Street Laughs now. What if but somebody else showed up claiming? We can fight. <laughs> that <laughs> time, it I'm be gonna... the first time. That's it's going down. Because you know they, they was taking credit, trying to take credit for that. Uh, listen, bro. We got. I'm not even getting into that. We got. Anyway. Uh, Thundercat, Thundercat is off a of poet of the year. You know she's she's U Street family, and I'm missing. Oh oh, and seven one seven Sports Media, and you got right way home care are both off a of small business of the year. Make sure you uh, if, if voting is still, I think it's closed. I give it uh Pull up August sixth six is at McCaskey yeah. in the auditorium. You gotta shout out Man Dom, man. Dom's up for like motivator of the year, man. That's a good guy. Oh, shout, yeah. yeah, shout out to Dom. Dom's my guy, yeah. Y'all fuck with kid. Um, is there anything else? Right ways home care. All right, I got it. 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 Let's get out of here because I'm getting uh dirty looks and shit. We got E money in the building. Mond. Two claps in a meal. Ooh, spicy. We got I am Kansy in the building. Hey, yo, it's your boy Just Kansy. I do it because I just can. We got Alonzo Williams Jr. in the building. Shop wood, carry water. And I am your host, <laughs> Blast. This is Say Less Podcast, episode 175. We'll see y'all next week. Hey, you straight rocks the world. You. You. you.